Good morning, folks. We're starting with an animation produced from Hubble Images, demonstrating the long-term changes in the sky that would be seen if one could stick around that long to see it. Top article and recommendation today is indeed another addition to the tsunami of information contrary to the anthro-global warming story. Another prominent name in science is displeased with their science and the certainty claimed by the IPCC. We've shown that the highest solar activity in recorded time occurred during the alleged global warming years. And this author is as upset as I am that the complete weakening of our star over the last decade is likewise not considered relevant for the lack of global warming admitted by the IPCC last fall. Buoy in event mode. Bay of Bengal off the coast of Sumatra. Deviation appears to be minor. Kicking to the cyclone in the Mozambique Channel. System is well formed and dropping major precipitation at the moment as you see via the measurement mission. Should see a low pressure cell over Tasmania. Sporadic rain now, with convergence north extends back up onto the Australian continent and will tail off today as the low shifts towards New Zealand over the next 36 hours. After a day off, the North Atlantic again houses the strongest storm on the northern hemisphere. Still got that African low that came north into the Mediterranean, but purple is once more coming to the west coast. Can't forecast or stop the Amazon precipitation, but a high-pressure cell just off Chile will indeed funnel the southernmost storms down to the Scotia Sea for the time being. Eye that convergence in the east. It will be fed into by the central states today, and the actual meeting point near eastern Oklahoma will shoot severe thunderstorms up the line tonight. That's severe thunderstorms tonight, followed by another asinine amount of snowfall up north. That'll be fun. We are currently in a planetary magnetic storm. NASA experts are saying it is a tip south in the solar wind, but up top is the BZ component and we went south midstream yesterday, while we noticed no geomagnetic disturbance until the interplanetary shockwave hit in the early hours of this morning. There is a clear shift in speed and temperature of the plasma as a dense stream hit Earth while most of us were sleeping. You can see that the real disturbance to our system didn't begin until the shockwave hit today, rather than merely being a function of BZ direction. We're at KP6 a level 2 storm. Protons remain active but no radiation concerns now. Solar flaring has been weak but the filaments have been popping. Last night I would have bet a bit that the dancing line west of yesterday's eruption was the next to go but I was wrong. Incoming north filament released and is now intruding onto our next coronal hole coming in there. You see the dark disappearing in favor of higher coronal particle counts with the reconnecting fields. All Enlil's updated yesterday's CME expected impact late in the week. More magnetic storms are expected along with powerful auroras, current conditions, and some shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.